Hi, I'm Nicholas. In this video, I'm going to show a technique to modulate contour rig forward sole frequency based on LODs to optimize performances. Inside the MetaHuman Blueprint, add a text that shows the current LOD value using the Get Predicted LOD Level node, then cast it to the Animation Blueprint. The Animation Blueprint has a simple idle and a contour rig, getting LOD value from the MetaHuman Blueprint. Control Rig has a standard sphere tracing, storing if the trace hits, the location and use the normal with the name math node to get the quaternion. Then use a user defined event and rename the node to right foot IK. Now it's time to create the LOD based logic frequency update. Get the LOD integer and use a select node to set values from IL0 to IL3. Then get delta time and add it to a float called time since last tick. From forward solve, set time since last tick, then use greater equal to see if the result from adding delta time to time since last tick is greater than the float LOD value from the select node, then using a branch, if true, set time since last tick to zero. And use the run forward solve event, selecting right foot IK from the dropdown. Use a basic IK node and set the right leg joints. Then use the R foot hit location together with the foot R location and multiply the quaternion with the foot R quaternion. Then set the nipple vector using the calf R location. We temporarily disconnect the forward solve frequency logic and enable debug by going to class settings, VM runtime settings, enable profiling, then compile. You'll notice that each node connected to the forward solve will change color and near the top left corner a number will appear. Those numbers indicate how many microseconds the node will use. Based on that, we can see that the sphere trace node has a value around 40 microseconds, which compared to the other nodes, it's quite high. Reconnecting the forward solve frequency logic, we can force the LOD value to 1, and notice that now the sphere tracing logic is being triggered every 0.1 seconds. Forcing the LOD to 2 or 3, we're updating the node by 0.2 or 0.3 seconds. I created a simple blueprint with a sphere going up and down in order to test the IK setup, so after hitting play, you may notice that on LOD0, the foot follows the sphere, but if we move back a bit, you may notice the switch to LOD1, and you'll see that the Z value for the foot isn't updating smoothly, and that's because we are tracing every 0.1 seconds. Switching to LOD2 is even more noticeable, since now the update is done every 0.2 seconds. To smooth out the z-axis, you can simply use a common filter. You can also bind the common filter buffer size to the LOD value. We can do the same thing for the quaternion as well, this time using the accumulate lerp node. By doing so, we reduce the tracing frequency and save on performances. I use the sphere trace as an example, but the same logic could be applied for each node that may require some optimization.